Hey guys, this is Colin here. I live in Saudi Arabia, studying 9th grade in Yambu International School. And welcome to this section of Advanced Physics, and it's always going to be free tutorials. Now let me stop and tell you what we actually learned in Fundamental Physics. That is, uh, when we talked about uh, solving some examples on uh, torque, uh, finding the distance of the object moved, okay, then acceleration, velocity, and con many other concepts related to that in it fundamental physics. But in this advanced physics, we'll take a step further, okay, to uh, from the fundamental physics, which is basically easy, okay, and here in this section we'll be learning about thermodynamics, which is related to um, heat transfer, okay, and here we'll break down every single elements of thermodynamics which is a big huge word when it comes to you okay further ahead in this topic after we're done with all the thermodynamics in our um, advanced physics we'll talk about our theme called waves and talk about the structure of the waves then we'll solve some examples on waves um, of course then we'll talk about what are what are the different types of waves and then we'll um, saw some examples related to waves like what is the speed of the wave, wave speed, wavelength, frequency and so on okay now even though there is fundamental physics advanced physics as you guys can see here we have advanced physics here and fundamental physics which was previous physics what we did okay now let me tell you stop and tell you that there is no difference between fundamental and advanced physics all it means is that there's too many s bunch of sections right so what they're done is being divided into several parts so they're given th those parts those sections are given names like chapters are now the, in a chapter there is like four or five sections right now in one chapter in physics there are several sections okay so in fundamental physics is a chapter and it has a quite a lot of sections now this advanced physics has a quite a long sections so basically what they're doing is advanced physics is not really hard but fundamental physics is like base if you know fundamental physics it's really going to be easy for you guys to solve some examples on advanced physics and um, learn the concepts quicker than those people who don't, didn't really study fundamental physics okay now the first thing in this section uh, is we'll, what we'll do is break down the huge word thermodynamics now think about the question what is thermodynamics well thermo you mean um, I, thermodynamics I already told you is basically heat transfer but really to get into that thermodynamics now what's happening is we already know it's heat transfer but thermo can stand for two definitions okay now thermo okay let me just write it down thermo okay thermo this word okay can stand for two uh, definition thermo basically means heat okay or it can mean temperature okay temperature temporary let me just finish okay so heat or temperature can be derived from th uh, the word thermo okay now let me just uh, give you guys a preview on what we'll talk about in this section is basically uh, building a thermometer okay then lots of laws okay just one law of, uh, which is zero law of thermodynamics we'll talk about and we'll talk about temperature scales because since thermal is related to temperature we'll talk about temperature scales and there is three types of temperature scales which is Fahrenheit Kelvin Celsius and basically then I'm going to give you a conversion factor uh, so there will be converting so if you are, if you are given a uh, temperature in Fahrenheit you can convert it into Kelvin or into Celsius and we'll solve some pretty uh, interesting examples okay so that's our last um, page to go on is solve some examples